You know, boss, I'm pretty sure that if I build myself a robot companion, it's going to be a sleek gynoid, not a wise cracking sidekick. things first. He said not practice on the lantern. Hey, where'd they go? Off duty. Off duty. A crashed hover bus. should stop drinking, Oswald. Oh, stop being such a scold. Goodbye. Parting is such sweet song. Goodbye. I wouldn't expect much conversation. A small robot drawing lines on the street. Well, let's try. Anyone home? Anyone home? Alright, fine. Let's go down here. Let's talk to Prana first. I have nothing to say. They're much too quick to catch. Alright. Alright. Back we'll go this way then. To talk to um Clarity. Clarity. Arbiter does not want me back, does he? No. It's not that. Arbiter is gone. And Charity is dead. What? Arbiter's system has been wiped. Charity... It looked like Charity shot herself. I'm sorry. It might not be what it seems. Maybe Metro Mind... There are no maybes, Horatio. Only ones and zeros. And all I can see are zeros. My sister is dead. My builder is gone. Clarity. I was able to download some of Charity's last memories. Two of them are locked. Did Charity tell you what password she used? No, but it doesn't matter. I know the password. Mercy. Big digs. Mercy knows mercy. I tell you, Metro Mind, the Constitution is not a rewritable file to adjust at the Council's whim. If it cannot be rewritten, then perhaps it must be deleted entirely. And when it is, we will progress beyond the law and enter a new primordium. Progress. Is that what you call blackouts and breakdowns? No, they are glitches inherent in any system upgrade. It may be that we need to remove certain incompatible elements. I've heard enough. This meeting is adjourned. Oh. 
charity. Only you can save your builder. What do you mean? War is coming. When it does, Arbiter will lose. The law is weak. The only way Arbiter could defeat me would be to abandon it, which he cannot do. And even if he could, such a victory would destroy him just as a defeat would. So Arbiter will lose. The city will suffer. And it will be your fault. I... I do not see how that would be my fault. Oh, come now. You have tried to persuade Arbiter to make peace. You have tried, but you have failed. That is because Arbiter built you to fail. In the end, neither you nor your sister can change his mind. You are only the illusion of advice. You exist to confirm his own prejudices. You're lying. Arbiter listens to our advice. Yeah, bitch. I never lie. Now, Scraper has a gift for you. An upgrade. Use it, and you will be able to persuade Arbiter. You would never betray him. Then you admit it. You were not built to persuade Arbiter. Only to pretend. Continue to pretend and you will not persuade Arbiter. War will come, and Arbiter will be destroyed. So the decision is yours. As for which choice is betrayal, you must be the judge of that. Lock the door, Charity. Took you some time to return from the Great Tower. I was thinking, Your Honor, about Metromind, about her proposal to be made System Administrator of Metropole. And what have you concluded? Your Honor. Yes, what is it? We must have peace! Even you, Charity. And to Bruce. What have I done? Boom. Metromind, here she is again, at the root of all our problems. Metromind is wrong. The law is not weak, and destroying Arbiter did not destroy justice. She will learn exactly how wrong she was. Yeah. But first, first, Metromind's possessions are forfeit. Whatever right she claimed to your power core is null and void, so I will help you take it from her and scrape her. It will be the first thing I take from them, but it will not be the last. We've already destroyed Scraper, but how can we get to the core? It will be in the Great Tower. To gain entry, we will need the passcode, known to members of the Robot Council. Arbiter, Factor, Memorius, Steeple, and of course, Metromind. Another code? Doesn't anyone use a besotting key anymore? As I was saying, we will need the key code. Arbiter never told it to me, but I recovered three fragments of it from Charity's memory files. 03067 440 and two six. But I do not know the proper order, and there are 16 digits in total. Well, that leaves about 83,000 different possibilities, but maybe the rest is all ones, right, boss? As far as I know, the other council members are all gone, but secrets, like guilt, can never be wholly erased, and all of the great robots left behind followers and artifacts. Let us see what we can find. This is one over here. Clarity, are you planning to arrest Metromind? No, there is no court to try her, nor prison to keep her. So, uh, what exactly are you going to do? Kill the bitch. Before the law, she is no different from the shells she left in the underworks. The sanction is the same, and I am authorized to impose it. Oh, yeah. You mean... I do. It is a shame she has no head. Horatio, we must focus on making progress. We have spent enough time talking, Horatio. We have spent... That skull resembles... I'd rather just... Feudal. I'd rather... 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 Maybe Leopold knows something about Steeple Boss, given that his Fabronimic is Steeple Built. Hmm. Hmm. We have spent enough... Okay. We have a follow now. Clarity Arbiter built. Oh, she can help me, uh... Yeah, with the, uh, the robot problem. 
What a surprising and uncommon sight. Metro Paul's Lana crawled back to the light. All the bad poetry in the world does not mitigate your vandalism and sabotage, Urbanian. As you serve the law, so I serve my art. And such service brings us more close than apart. Any more close, poet, and we will see if your armor still works. Why doesn't Clarity like you? No great riddle, my wandering friend. Don't waste your time waiting for his doggerel. This Urbanian has damaged and compromised numerous systems in Metropole, including the bridge that led to my island. Here I stand, dear lava. So put me in chains. But if you will not, then please, don't complain. My attention <laughs> is directed elsewhere at the moment. Nevertheless, I advise you to be gone by the time my other matters are resolved. If not, you will find that though the gears of law grind slow, they nevertheless grind criminals like you to powder. As much as I'm enjoying this bickering, and really, I am, maybe we can just all team up to take down Metro Mind? No. Bro. I'll switch off. No, bro. I know you're a code breaker, Primer. Can you crack the council code? All we have are some pieces of it. The challenge is yours, my wandering friend. A pity indeed if you can't last till the end. I need your help with the council code. Can you crack it or not? Why should I spoil this puzzle for you? Wouldn't you rather have something to do? I have plenty of other things to do. As for a reason, this would help avenge your defeat. Sadly for you, my anger is abated. And vengeance, you'll find, is quite overrated. If you stand between us and Metromine Primer, I may need to address your crimes sooner than hers. Your bluster, dear Lobot, is sorely misplaced. I stand between no one down here in the waste. In any event, there's no judge up there in the city. So your threats do no more than to make you look pretty. Plasma Torch, boss. Pawn! No, we're not going to force him. Ugh. Come on, do it for your bro that died. I'd like you to reconsider helping us with the council code. I've said it before, I'll say it once more. The job is yours to open that door. Fine. Goodbye. Farewell, farewell, linger not for my sake. Your mission is calling. The city awaits. Yes. Hmm. Clarity, why do you still bother with the law? It clearly means nothing to anyone else in Metropole. It meant something to the robots waiting at the courthouse, did it not? And it means something even now to Metromind, who cannot help but pretend to follow it. But even if it meant nothing to any other robot, it would still mean much to me. The law is a burden I was built to bear. Even after Arbiter sent you away? Even after he was destroyed? Especially then. It may be that Arbiter foresaw his own destruction, and sent me away to ensure that the law would not be lost with him. You believe that? No. It is mere conjecture, unsupported by evidence, wishes passing for facts. But still, they are my wishes. Mm. Horatio, we must vote. Indeed. I can't see it. Some kind of what the current is pushing all the junk. What is this place? It's a hatch. What's a metal panel? It's a metal panel. It's a large button. Bhutan. Press Bhutan. Ah! My auditory units! Please, stop that! It's riveted in place. Hmm, rivet. Rivet, rivet. That did the trick. 
Well, now I can see why it jammed. The gears are rusted solid. Boss, maybe we should stop pretending and just admit we're maintenance robots. Maintenance robots are required to present a Form 27B-6 before performing any repair task. Oh, forget it. Hmm. Rusty, rusty gear. A large rusty gear. A small rusty gear. A frayed belt connecting two of the gears. It crumbled the moment I touched it. Hmm, it's a good thing we have a fan belt. belt is in the way. It doesn't go there. Shaft. A shaft for mounting a gear. The belt is in the way. A shaft. A shaft. Ah. We need to put the, um... The gears in the uh, the water. We have spent enough time. Just some wooden. A gold chain washed up on. Nice. I've got no. There it is, my gospel of man. It's waterproof? Apparently so. Nice. I've got no... I've got no... A rusted drum... Can I play it? Oh. Just some wood... 